Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity today. Uh, as mentioned, our individual proposal today is from Shannon College of Hotel Management. Uh, this is a school of the College of Business, Public Policy and Law in NUI Galway. Um, our project today is number two, under number three. It's an individual project. It's called EXIS. This is an online executive skills development program. Our project team. Uh, firstly, uh, my own name is Trevor McCarthy. I'm the program leader for our core programs in Shannon College of Hotel Management. I lecture in hotel operations, facilities, and hotel law. And uh, my colleague presenting today with me is Gwyn Ryan, uh, the librarian and disability student support officer. Uh, as you can see from our project team, uh, it's quite varied in our skills and covers very different people and skill, skill sets within our school, uh, from inter, uh, intercultural communication skills, life skills, operations, accountancy, librarian and other supports. And we think this adds to the whole development of the online program. Now, I'll just pass you over to my colleague Gwyn Ryan now to continue with the presentation. Okay, so um, Shannon College um, has a very diverse international student body. Um, I don't know the exact percentages, but I think over 60% of the student body are non-Irish. So we have quite a substantial number of Indian students, Chinese students, students from other Asian countries, uh, students from other European countries, North America or whatever. Um, we also then would have a number of students who have disclosed um, learning disabilities and other conditions like um, ADHD, like uh, anxiety disorders, uh, autism spectrum disorders, and I'm sure there are a lot of other students as well within our population that maybe have conditions that are undiagnosed or undisclosed. Um, so the, the college is, is quite small and I think all of us are very, very interested in student engagement. Um, so we wonder why there are certain students that find it difficult to make lectures, um, why some students find it difficult to get assignments in on time, or there might be difficulties with group work, students not wanting to work with other students, or why maybe a lot of the Chinese students opt to kind of socialise together rather than integrating into the rest of the, the college um, community. Um, so we know that academic ability is not a factor here because everybody has, has reached the level um, to get into the college. Um, so we think that perhaps the problem might be um, with personal skills or personal self-management. Um, so that's what this executive skill um, proposal is about. So would you be familiar with the concept of executive skills? Um, so we'd all be familiar with um, organisation, uh, planning and prioritisation, um, time management. These types of skills would often be included in um, academic skills offerings. But there are actually about 12 different um, executive skills. So the other ones would be task initiation, goal-directed persistence, metacognition, working memory, sustained attention, emotional control, response inhibition, flexibility and stress tolerance. So we all as individuals have both strengths and weaknesses across all of these skills. Um, so this project is about, um, I suppose, helping people to become more aware of their strengths and their weaknesses. So for instance, um, somebody who is um, very strong and sustained attention, um, they'll maintain focus despite distractibility, fatigue or boredom, um, they'll complete tasks even when they find them tedious or difficult, they can avoid distractions, delay gratification, whereas on the other hand, people where, where this might be a problem, um, they will get distracted easily, perhaps don't finish tasks or whatever. So realizing this is a problem can allow that individual to put steps into place, such as uh, modifying the task, dividing it into discrete chunks so that it can be done and swapped with other things or whatever. Um, for myself, I suppose, working memory, I think, is a problem for, for me over the years, um, manifesting itself in, in forgetfulness. So nowadays I make lists for myself. Um, I have reminders in my calendar. I always put my keys and my phone in the same place so I don't forget them in the morning. So I suppose by middle adulthood, a lot of us are aware of, of the problems we have and our strengths. 
Um, and you know, we've kind of we've either worked on things or else we've we've life hacks like I've just described to kind of compensate for them. Um, so this program will give our students this self awareness. Similarly, we understand that intercultural communication skills are essential for working in today's global workplace and um, they're successful for collaborative work in college. So I guess this project is all about developing this online suite of tools um, that will help students to transition into the multicultural third level learning environment that is Shannon College by helping them with both their intercultural competence and then in developing their executive skills um, so that they can self-manage, self-regulate and hopefully um, be successful academically. So, in terms of what we hope to deliver, um, first of all, um, it is this uh, online executive skills development program. So, it'll be an online tool um, moderated by academic staff, and we're hoping to include some sort of anonymous peer coaching as well. Um, and again, these, these skills, we believe, are, are critical for, for personal success. Um, as well as working through maybe the, the different skills that the students decide they need to work on, they'll also understand the contribution of these um, executive skills or executive functioning to personal success, both in college, in work, life, relationships. Um, and they'll be able to develop these skills by working through a personally, so personally relevant content. So they'll do an online um, self-assessment first, only they will have the answers to this. This will let them know where their strengths are and their weaknesses and suggest then the areas that they might like to work through. And then they, they will set themselves um, a SMART goal, so that's a specific, measurable, um, I never remember what A is, achievable, <laughs> relevant, and time-limited um, goal to work towards. So I suppose the, the moderation and the peer co coaching comes in here to help them achieve their goals. Um, we also want um, to, we have a great student environment, it's very multicultural, it is on the whole integrated, but we would like to improve on that, there's always room for improvement. Um, so the intercultural communication content will help students to think and reflect on the issues relating to their own cultural values, beliefs and perceptions in order to develop their own awareness of how they communicate with others in the student community and then beyond in the wider multicultural environments that they'll be working in. Um, the project then will also have some professional development opportunities for the academic staff that are um, engaged in this project. Um, so there will be a little bit of training, um, there will be a refresher training in intercultural awareness. Um, all staff will get a, a good overview of executive functioning and the types of things we can do to um, improve or compensate for weaknesses. We will also have training in how to moderate online environments. And I suppose, as was alluded to at the start, this is a new process for us. Shannon College is only part of NUI Galway for the last three years or so. So we're trying to build um, new capacities, particularly in the area of research. So we're also hoping in this project to have two um, published outcomes, which would be new for the, for the project team. Um, and then also we believe that this type of content um, would be useful and valuable across all disciplines. So we would hope to make the online content available at the end on open access for other higher educational institutions to use. So um, the, the individual packages would be created as scoring packages. Um, and we, we were very taken by the all aboard.ie um, program there. So, so, so it'll be sort of have that kind of look and feel, I would imagine. So. Yeah. So just just moving on to the next next aspect and the the plan for what we're doing over the the four quarters. I, I suppose in quarter one we look at the whole development of the project team that are taking this project on, uh, building the academic staff and their competencies. Where we'll be looking at the needs analysis, uh, training workshops in the first quarter, but also laying out a plan for the following three quarters and looking what we need to achieve and plan, uh, setting up the spec and the plan for what we need from web developer to bring this content forward. 
quarter two and quarter three will look at the whole development. So this will be the individual development of the modules, the tool, and then bringing the content together. Uh, and this will be over the two quarters, two and three. Quarter three will be the deployment uh, of this content and the testing. So the plan for this is that it will be worked with our year one students, 100 of them in our BBS and BBCOM uh, hotel management and uh, international hotel management uh, and that will be used as the first 100 people to use it and evaluate it. By the end of quarter four this is where we'll evaluate, we'll look at the, this intervention, how it has worked, looking through how individuals have engaged with it and the feedback also from the students as well. And this will also come into play where we look at the promotional aspect of how we can spread this out and bring it out to further institutes throughout the country. So the impact and sustainability. Uh, I suppose the impact and sustainability is that it will create an online platform. Uh, it will be developed and updated on a regular basis and also looking at specifically certain modules, whether it's intercultural or certain behaviours that have to change for a certain time. That allows us to update it and change it so it's a long-lasting impact. So individual access modules will be made available and can be downloadable. So this makes it more uh, achievable for other institutes, whether they want to use all the modules or individuals and apply them to their Blackboard, Moodle or Canvas or etc. what they use in their individual institutes. The academic staff will receive training. Uh, they'll receive training executive skills enhancement. And I think already from our project team, when we've sat and we've met and discussed together, it's already improved our total awareness of all different modules that we're now starting to share and learn together. Uh, and so this will continue through the platform over the years and make it long lasting. So there's a long sustainable achievement from this platform. So the instructor materials will be produced, uh, they'll provide support and advice, uh, workshops will be structured so they'll be identified and already have been tested so they can be rolled out and used elsewhere. So again it, it, it looks at the sustainability of this access platform. Following this post project evaluation, uh, as my colleague mentioned as well, uh, Shannon College is now moving into an area where we need to look at research to bring our research levels up to the National University of Galway and this is our opportunity that can we look for developing research, publications, and bringing it out this to you know promotional conferences, and, and gives us the opportunity to build our level at the research. So just bringing back uh, the feedback that we received, uh, we thank you very much for your feedback um, and for a college that we are very much student led and student involved, we feel that it's something that we need to engage more with and bring our students more involved with what we're trying to do with this platform. So again, as mentioned earlier, we mentioned about the peer student anonymous support in this platform. I think with this is online, it is individual that people will work through it at their own pace and in a personal capacity. But there's also the possibility to bring student involvements with anonymous supports with each other. Also, we looked at student involvement participation in the project in somewhat underdeveloped. Again, we look at the possibility that we could look in quarter two where there is a bulk development of, of individual modules and content that we could look at getting a student research assistant as part of this overall. And a key part of what we have in Shannon is that we have a very strong teach and learn committee. This represents each of our years that are in the college. So there's representations from students and from staff. And this allows us to meet on a regular basis to share and discuss what's happening. So this platform of, of access would become a, a very strong part of our committee going forward to improve the connection and engagement between our students and our staff at a teaching and learning level. So ladies and gentlemen, I thank you today for your time. Uh, this is our program. Uh, we hope it falls into the category of success. We feel it would be a great advantage for our students and our staff. And I suppose going back to NUI Galway, uh, our strategy for Vision 2020 is very much focused and centered around people. And that's why we feel that this is very much focused around people, our staff and our students, and we hope this can bring and develop us forward. Thank you very much.